In this video, I am solving two problems that were asked in Gate 2009 and 2017. They are related with RTH and RL in case of maximum power transfer. The value of load resistance in maximum power transfer case is equal to R family. It is nothing but R family. So, in both cases, we have to find the R family. So, R thermine and the circuits, what type of circuit are these? These are having dependent voltage source in their circuitry. Either it may be dependent voltage source or dependent current source. So, I am giving you a formula for this that is RANS. You must remember these five words to solve the problem. First is R that is for the replace. What we have to replace in the first step? We have to replace this voltage source by a, a short circuit and independent voltage source I will replace it by short circuit and if there is current source then replace it with open circuit. So first the replacement of the independent sources. So independent sources will be replaced here that is given by the R in my word ranks. This A is for the applying the uh, either apply or one voltage uh, test voltage or one ampere test current. So this A is for the add or apply what you have to apply either one volt or one ampere test current. Either of this you have to apply across these terminals. In this case I will apply this after replacing this RL. Okay. So my next step is to apply the or add the 1 volt or 1 ampere test voltage or test current. This step is nothing but to count the nodes after redrawing uh, the circuit. What changes you did? You replace this. You applied here voltage source or current source. I will prefer here voltage source. And then count the number of nodes present in the circuit. After the changes, I will uh, assign the nodes. Those are active. And then I will assign the voltages on those nodes. This N is nothing but the nodes and nodes voltages. I will apply nodes voltages. That is V1, V2 like this on the nodes. This K is for KCL or KVL. I will apply the KV, not KVL. I will apply here KCL as I use nodes voltages. So apply KCL and then S is for the sol solution of the equation. Then I will solve the this KCL equation. So this is the way I will use to find the RTH. So, my first step is to replace the first step is to replace this voltage source. I am replacing this voltage source by short circuit here and in this again I am replacing this voltage source by short circuit. Agar yaha pe current source hota, to aap use open circuit se replace karte. This is the only difference. Now, our next jo hai, that is to add or apply test voltage or test current. I am applying here one voltage test voltage at terminal where we have to find RTH. In this case, I will replace RL because I have to find the value of this resistance and apply again here one volt test voltage. And because of this voltage, a current will start flowing and let the current be I0. Okay. So, I will assign the direction of current in other branches also. This is now my source voltage. This is now energy source here in circuit. So, this will start the current. The, this will start the current in the two branches and the direction will be like this. Yes, 
because of this voltage source this is the energy source now in our circuit and because of this suppose the direction of current is this as i am already having a small i so i will assign uh, this as i zero so my rth will be nothing but 1 divided by i zero here and in this case it will be 1 by i zero as my voltage source is 1 volt and current flowing due to this is i naught here and in this case it is 1 by i zero now this short circuit in parallel to a uh, resistance that will be uh, replaced by these two will be replaced by a short circuit because this is nothing but 0 ohm so 0 and 1 the parallel combination of this will give you a 0 ohm so this will be replaced by a 0 ohm resistance so this is my circuit and I can draw it like this this is my circuit now it will look like this in this case again yes uh, this 1 volt voltage will be the voltage of this node because it is there is no element present in this branch Sim similar this node voltage will be 1 ohm and it is connected to ground so here this is connected to directly to ground without any element or voltage source so here the voltage will be 0 volt okay in this case the voltage will be it will not be 0 volt because here is our reference point so i will give v1 voltage i will assign this node voltage as a v1 this whole voltage is v1 they are all at the same voltages now we will apply KCL at these two nodes. Yes, one thing that you can uh, find in this circuit, uh, this voltage source is surrounded by two nodes of different voltages. So here is a super node formation is taking place. It is not happening here because there is a resistance present in this circuit. So here I will use a super node phenomena. Okay, because super super node is present. If a voltage source is surrounded by two different voltages, two different node voltages and no resistance or element is there, then it is called a super node. So, a super node formula will come here. What is super node formula? This V1 or this 1 volt, if I am moving in this direction, 1 minus 3I0 is equal to V1. This is first equation. If you are moving in this direction, 1, then the sign that later comes in the voltage source, 1 minus 3I0 is equal to V1. If you are moving in this direction, you have to write V1 plus 3I0 is equal to 1 volt. You can write in either form and they are same in the result. Here there is no uh, super node phenomena comes in the picture. So, uh, I will apply the KCL in, at the super node. I am having one equation. Now, apply KCL at super node. So, this is one node and it is connected through this resistance. So, first assign the current. This is our source. So, I will assign the currents like this. This will be the direction of current. Here the current will be like this. It will come like this. So first assign current. Whatever you want to assign, you first, you prefer this source voltage and give the direction of current according to it. Then apply this. So this is our V1 voltage and this is also V1 and current, one current is outgoing, one current is coming to this V1. So, I will write all incoming currents on left hand side and all outgoing currents on right hand side and I will equate them. First incoming current, this is incoming 1, that is V1, current is coming from this 1 volt to V1 volt. So, 
you have to write 1 minus v1. Yes, this thing is to be uh, remembered that uh, if current is flowing in this direction, then 1 will come first and v1 will come later. Because current flows from higher voltage to lower voltage. Most of the students do mistake in such things. I minus V1 divided by 1 ohm. This is first in incoming current at V1. Okay. First I will write all currents at mode V1. Then I will write all currents at V2. Because it is uh, the application of KVL, KCL in at super load. So we will write combined V1 and V and this 1 volt combined in one equation. Okay. 1 minus V1 incoming. This is outgoing. So, I will write it on the right hand side. So, this is going from V1 to 0. So, this will be V1 divided by 1. This is first outgoing current. Another, this is, uh, yes, only two currents are there. One is this, another is this. This current we cannot evaluate as it is having no element registers or any active or passive element. So, we cannot evaluate. No, only two currents and I have written at node V1 or two currents. One is incoming, another is outgoing. Now, at node V2 or you can say at one volt voltage uh, node, the one current is outgoing. That is 1 minus V1. So, I will write it here. 1 minus V1 divided by 1. Yes, you, you have to... Uh, this is plus, you have to notice th that this current we have taken twice. One, we have taken it for V1 and another time it is, it current in the equation for V2. We have to consider both nodes. So, this current ca came two times, once it is for V1 and V2. So, it will be cancelled from the equation. Uh, later we will do it. And another current is, that is coming to this current is outgoing. This current is incoming to this root. And that is I naught. So, it is incoming current. So, I will write it here. Plus I naught. And this current is again outgoing. So, I will write it here. This is plus 1 voltage and 1 ohm resistance plus 1. So, this is the current. Now, I have to calculate the value of this uh, this uh, V1 is there, 3I0 is here. So, uh, I, uh, I need to calculate the value of V1. So, I0 is nothing but V1 divided by 1. This I0 is nothing but 1 voltage. From here to here, the voltage is 1 volt. So, as I apply this 1 volt divided by 1 ampere, 1 re ohm register. So, I0 is 1 ampere okay so replace this i naught with one so it is nothing but v1 is nothing but minus two ampere v1 is minus two ampere okay now substitute this value of v1 so this is the last part of your um, formula that is s i am doing the last part that is solution so, substitute the values and solve it for the this I0. Substitute V1 that is minus 2 here and this minus 2 plus 1 will be equal to minus 1. This is our answer. So, our I0 here is minus 1. So, RTH while I will substitute this minus 1 here, RTH will be nothing but minus 1 ohm. This minus uh, only represents, uh, represents that the direction of current is not from ground to this circuit uh, to this node. It is from this node to ground. Okay. This minus value indicates only the direction is opposite what we have taken in the circuit. Yes. Now we come to our next circuit. Here again we have to find the RTH and we will use the formula ranks. I, I have Replace the voltage source. I have applied or add the test voltage in the circuit. Now, nodes, number of nodes. How many nodes are there? 
notes voltage i have given the voltage here the voltage is 0 volt and here the voltage is 1 volt because of this test voltage if you don't have such like this situation like this then you have to assign v1 and v2 here then apply kcl in the uh, nodes at these point nodes and then we will solve it so only two steps are remaining that is apply kcl apply kcl at this zero volts i will i am going to apply it at only this node because this is nothing but our reference ground node so apply kcl at one volt node so this is our outgoing current and as i told you one will come first zero will come later and the resistance that is here here one minus vx there is another so voltage dependent source is present that is 1 minus Vx and we have to take the sign that comes later in the voltage source divided by 4 this is one uh, outgoing current plus another outgoing current is 1 divided by 8 and it is equals to our only incoming current at this node that is I0. Uh, now I am going to solve this equation. There are two unknowns so we need another equation and we can find this another equation from here so in this equation the voltage from here to here is only one and the uh, one and current is one by eight so this is the current in this direction and this current one by eight is nothing but vx by four yes Another thing that you have to uh, remember in this circuit that you always take the direction in the drop, uh, direction of drop plus to minus, then your current will be positive. Okay, this is voltage divided by resistance, this is current. Current positive direction will come when you proceed in the direction of drop. If you are going in the direction of rise, then you have to take minus sign. Okay, I am coming in this direction and this is nothing but equal to Vx divided by 4. So, uh, using this equation, we can find the value of Vx and that is 0.5. So, I got the another equation. Now, I am going to solve this. Substitute here Vx is equal to 0.5. So, it is nothing but 0.5, it is 1 by 8 and this is 2 by 8 and this is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is our I0. So, RTH will be 1 divided by 1 by 4 that is 4. So, RTH will be 4 ohms. So, this is the way to solve RTH in just 3 or 4 steps. First, uh, replace then add uh, voltage or current source in case of dependent voltage sources you have to add and if there is only independent source then the formula for that is replace uh, the independent voltage source or and solve only replace and solve this is the only formula that means in case of this ranks you need only these two words replace and then solve only in two words two uh, these alphabets are sufficient if there is only independent source in the circuit so this is the way thank you